Hi, I'm Brianna from Brianna K Designs, and today I want to talk to you about Annie's Hook and Needle Club and why kits are so beneficial and a lot more relaxing, a great way to go if you want an easy, fun, and productive crochet project. So let's jump right in. First, I want to introduce you to what comes in your kit. This is this month's kit and it is three washcloths. And the nice thing about these is you are learning new stitches. These are some great fun texture stitches, which are awesome for cleaning. And inside this pamphlet are all the instructions you need to create these three unique textures in a cotton yarn. But Annie's also is never going to leave you hanging. They also send this crochet and stitch but Annie's is also never going to leave you hanging. They also provide you with this crochet and knit stitch guide. This one is really awesome. It is everything you need to not only do these projects, but learn the basics and a little bit beyond in terms of crochet and knitting. It also explains yarn weights and a lot of other benefits, including what hooks to use with certain yarn weights, how to do certain basic repeats. It's essential. And the cool thing about this is when Annie sends you something like this, there's no need to Google anything. There's no need to go find your phone or your laptop. And there's definitely no need to go to the craft store, which is great for either those hot summer days or those cold winter evenings when you just don't want to leave the house. Because if I can stay in my pajamas, I'm going to stay in my pajamas. So this is why they don't leave you hanging with anything. Everything you need to know to in order to do their kits is sent to you to your front door in your mailbox, which I think is really, really cool. Next, what I want to talk to you about is the yarn, because that's what's so fun about crocheting is exploring new yarns, trying new yarns, seeing how they work for you. So let's zoom in a little bit here and let's take a look at this cotton yarn. Now I fell in love with this. It's perfect for a washcloth. It's going to clean really well, but I love the texture they chose. And this morning I worked up one. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it in a minute, but I just want to show you the texture in the color and the stitch. If you can see a little bit, it goes from a little bit dark to a little bit lighter to a little bit darker. So it has that natural color ombre in there, which really adds to the look and uniqueness of this yarn. This yarn was really, really fun to work with. So this morning I poured myself a cup of coffee. I knew I would be doing this video and I wanted to really explore this kit before I told you about it. So I worked up this washcloth and the fun thing about it I found is that I brewed a cup of coffee, I sat down in my pajamas, and I worked this up really quick. And it was really relaxing. So if you are into crochet meditation like I am, because I can't really do traditional meditation, well, I guess I could, but it's harder for me. I find that I am distracted easily. I can't sit and do nothing. I really like my hands busy. And if you've read the research on it, doing a crochet project that is a stitch repeat, which this one, once you do a couple rows, you're flying, that it is very beneficial in a meditative sense. They've done brain scans that show that it's a great way to start your day. And this was the perfect size project this morning to get me ready for my day. I felt super relaxed. And at the end of your little meditation session, if you choose to do so, it really prepares you not only for your day, but you feel accomplished because you've already accomplished something before you even got dressed. Or if you want a relaxing evening, go ahead and try one of these. I really encourage you to try crochet meditation if you never have, and this kit is the perfect project for that. If you're not sure how to do it, simply purchase this kit, get a washcloth, and just crochet. Just sit and crochet for the length of this washcloth doing nothing else. Really let your mind relax as you just go through these stitches and you'll find that this is just the perfect project to start that. I wouldn't recommend any project for crochet meditation, but this is definitely one that is a winner for that. I just wanted to share that with you because I started my day off right and if I can share any tips with my crochet friends, I want you to use those tips too for not only being successful in a project, but living a healthy lifestyle. So we use our crochet not only to have a nice washcloth for our kitchen, but also for that healthy mind. It really does work. I encourage you to try it. Grab one of these kits. It's the perfect start to just attempt crochet meditation. It's not difficult. You're just gonna sit down and work through this and I think you will find in the end, you feel better and you've completed a project. 
Next, I want to talk to you a little bit about stitches. Now, I promise there's nothing in these washcloths that is really going to throw you off your meditation time. That's not what any is about. They are all about giving you this beautiful path to success. So you may come across something that you haven't used before. You might have heard of it, but don't panic. In this guide, they have everything you need, including for this next step, I'm going to show you an illustrated visual. So even when they think there might be something new that they really need to explain, they explain it. And often they'll put in a visual in there. So I'm going to show you though about working in the back loops. It's a really simplistic way to get texture and it's really fun to do. And it's really not hard at all once you understand the stitch and how it works. So let's dive in. Now I've turned here because I'm right handed. So I'm going to try to turn towards you and show you how this will go. So the front loop right here is the one closest and the back loop is the one farthest away from you. So this is as if you were crocheting it and not me. And you will simply insert your hook through that back loop only, not through both loops like you would for a regular single crochet, but only through the back loop. And then you will complete your single crochet stitch. Now in the instructions, the first two stitches are worked a little bit different. So be sure to follow the instructions for right now. I'm just showing you how to work the back loop. Once again, into the next stitch, there's the front loop and the back loop, and we're going to insert our hook just into the back loop only, leaving that front loop unworked, yarn over and complete your single crochet. You can already start to see that we've got these front loops hanging out on the front unworked. That's what creates that beautiful texture we see down here. It's simply leaving those front loops unworked creates that pop on the front, which is not only great for the look of it, but for also the texture for cleaning and for washing things. Now, as you can see, <laughs> these just cloths are a little bit addicting. I didn't mean to start another one as I was supposed to be doing something else, but I just got into it and it's already just kind of relaxing. So I might delay um, doing the dishes or any housework until I finish this and then I'll be Zen going into my housework. But I wanted to mention that at least for me, I can tell I, I'm really enjoying this. This is quite relaxing. I definitely see myself possibly pulling this out of a purse. Oh, it would be super e easy to pack. Easy instructions, one ball of yarn. I, yeah, this is going in my bag wherever I go because you find yourself waiting in a waiting line or even at home on hold with customer service. This is a great one that you can set down and pick up and go. But I also see myself needing to do more than three <laughs> because there's so, there's such a fun project and they work up so well and it's something I always am needing in my house. I think these ones will end up in my bathroom, but um, I, I could see myself wanting to do more than three. So this is the great thing about it is while you're waiting for your next kit from Annie's in those beautiful purple packages in the mailbox, um, if you wanted to make more, you just simply jump on over to the Annie site and all you need to do is order the yarn and that's it. And so then you've got the yarn coming in a beautiful package too, and you can keep whipping these up because the, once you get used to these stitches, which they're super fun and super relaxing, you really will want to make more. So it's easy just to jump over to the Annie's website and grab more supplies without having to, you know, put on pants. <laughs> I don't like to leave the house, so I don't know about you. I'm definitely a homebody. And even when I do leave the house, I've got so many other errands to do that it's so nice to just be able at the end of the day to know I've got my project at home, it came in the mail, and I can just relax and crochet. So this is awesome. And as you can see, I want to like come in a little bit closer one more time and see this beautiful texture on this piece. Um, I really enjoy it. I think it's awesome. It's super fun. These colors are really fun. They kind of remind me of definitely that Key, key um, Largo and Key West vibes. I love these colors. They're definitely Floridian for me. And if you're in the middle of winter, this is a great way to brighten your mood by having these vibrant colors. I'm digging the tangerine and this aqua is really pretty and same with this green. So I hope you really enjoy it. I, I highly recommend this kit. And I also quick note, if you're a crocheter that wants to learn how to knit or explore knitting, 
This, you can also get these kits in knit. So it's kind of a mimic of these cloths. And it is a great beginner project because Annie's walks you right through it. So if you've ever wanted to try knitting or you just started knitting and you want to expand your skills a little bit and have fun with it without being frustrated, it's a great time. This is a great time to try the knit kit as well. And so I really highly recommend the crochet kit. I think it's a lot of fun. It would be fun to get in the mail. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying working this up. So that's what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go relax and finish this. And I hope you enjoy your day. Join me, grab one of these kits, and definitely feel a bit more relaxed and have a lot of fun making something that is so useful in your home or as a gift. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.